Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is the uh, second part of the uh, cancer reading. The other one didn't, uh, for some reason, it didn't upload on YouTube, so I'm doing a new one today here for uh, my friend there. We'll just call him E.K. Ray. So that's a, well, we'll call, uh, Holy Spirit knows. The Spirit knows who I'm talking about, so let's call him E.K. Ray. <sighs> Holy Spirit, I need a light pack for E.K. Ray, let me know what, uh, what's coming down the pipe for him, what you need to be aware of. Oh. Let's see. Oh. oh shit, the devil's all over your shit. <laughs> Shut these up a bit. Oh, that's what it's like. That's a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Hope this isn't that crooked priest I've been dealing with. I've been dealing with this crooked. Well, I haven't been dealing with him because I haven't dealt with him in the past. This crooked priest. This guy dresses up like a priest or something. I don't know. I don't know. And it tells everybody he's a priest and prays for him and stuff like this. And I don't know, man. It's like fishy. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just. Uh, to me, the site, the uh, soul path uh, cycle for EK Ray. Heartbreak and, and uh, rushing in there. Or rushing in. This is uh this could represent you, but it could also mean uh, somebody else could be rushing in. If that's the case, yeah, I'd be careful because like uh, these, these, like I say, these are the guys that go in and start war with people, right? So they're your like uh, heavy, your heavy hitters or whatever. Like, just like the, like a goon in hockey, he'd be like Ty Domi or something. You know? <laughs> So that's what you got, and that's the heart of the matter, is heartbreak, and I guess the Knight of Swords is heartbreak, and quick actions without thinking, I don't know. Uh, what do we got in the challenge position for EK Ray? Uh, oh. Oh, that's quick. Oh. Betrayal. That's the... Uh, I don't know, if somebody's coming in to betray you or something. Anybody who comes rushing towards you, though, I'd just be very cautious because that basically means betrayal right there. So, like, the ultimate betrayal, too. Like, this guy's got ten swords in his back. That's overkill, right? And it's like, uh, and the Knight of Swords is a new love offer, so it might be disguised as a new love offer. Or, uh, yeah, some kind of, uh, it's, they might get it if if somebody's trying to betray you, they might get be getting a trick to try and do set you up or something like that. I'm just just putting it out there. That's the first thing that comes to mind or something like that. I'm just uh, it sounds fucking crazy, but really even crazier. That that's the last person who stabbed me in the back. <laughs> I fucking tell. I'm not even fucking kidding. I punctured my fucking lung. So <laughs> don't always think that the that the weaker sex is weak because it can, it can be a big mistake, man. What do we got in uh, subconscious for EK Ray? Uh, celebrations, uh, summer summer celebrations or spring celebrations. That's always good. Uh, okay, and in the past, what do we got in the past for EK Ray spirit? Uh, judgment and King of Swords. Ooh. Judgment and King of Swords. So you had judgment. This can almost be like a judgment too. This is somebody who's like a... The King of Swords when he's upright like this is like a very just king, like a judge or something like that. Like he's a worldly judge, but he's like... A, 
Sometimes he's, he represents God, actually. Sometimes he represents God. Uh, this is actually the one that, the only king that really can represent him or whatever, because he's just and he's uh, basically a king, right? So. And judgment. This is like divine judgment. So you've had that divine judgment before in your past, even if you haven't haven't seen it in your life. Like it's been it's been there. Like, like I say, everybody's judged daily. I think, but it doesn't always happen at the same at the times we think it would. But <laughs> but it happens. Like, you know, when you get that sick feeling in your stomach, and you know you know you shouldn't be doing something, and then, and then sure enough, you get fucking caught doing something you shouldn't have been doing. Like that, that's that's pretty much your your inner self, your soul, or your I don't know. I used to call it my stealing feeling or whatever, because it would let you know if you're gonna get caught before you get stealing or whatever. But like, yeah, yeah, it's like that's what that is. It's warning you that if you don't, if you do this right now, you get judged. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So we got here uh, in the present moment for EK right? Oh, we got the high priestess. So going within, finding that's a good thing to do. If it doesn't represent a person, it could represent somebody who's basically like knows like everything, because the high priestess knows everything. And if she doesn't, she can go within. She knows the whole universe is within her, so she can go within and find it out, right? Which any I think anybody can do that. You just gotta meditate on it hard enough and know. This, you, if you if you seek something long enough, you'll you'll find the answer. It's just the way it is. It'll, it'll land on your freaking head if you if you do it long enough, right? If you just like meditate or think about it long enough. What do you got in the future for EK Ray? Oh, nightmares and depression and I don't know, sleepless nights. So this represents, but uh, this means like being in your head, but you can always change that, right? Like that's uh, something like basically your head is, and you're who's in charge of your head, you are, right? So you have a choice to, to like every thought that goes in there, you can let it take root or you can tell it it doesn't belong there and just ne or keep on doing that enough times and it won't go in there anymore. I mean, people get sick of doing that. What do you got in influence for EK rate? EK rate, EK rate. Oh, I think we're... Shit, I'm gonna run out of time, ain't I? Um, blockage. Okay, this is a blockage. Somebody can be coming to do something. This guy's either, I don't know, I don't know. This guy looks like such a goof on this thing. I don't know what the fuck he's on, but I want some. Look at his face. He's stealing all those swords. And he just, that's exactly what this card means. It means like uh, stealing and like some underhanded like sabotage or something like that. Like somebody come, somebody gets you out of the house or something. And then while you're out of the house, somebody comes and steals your shit or sets you up or some shit like that. That's the type of shit this is, right? Like running with scissors is bad enough. Look at this guy. He's going to slice his fucking head off. Like, look at that. Look at that dumb look on his face. I don't know, man. <coughs> Anyways, that's what that means, so, and that's influencing the situation, so be careful of somebody stealing some shit off you, or whatever, I don't know. And somebody around you could be, I don't know, maybe they'll look like this, but I don't think, <laughs> do you know what I mean, it looks like that? They, and the Shriner's hat on? Holy oh, shit. I've never seen anybody look like that, that one gets me every time. Okay, what do we got in uh, hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. These two spirit? Yeah, these two. Hopes and fears. Okay. Hopes and fears. These look like both fears, but the government, I'd think, unless you know an Aries, this could be an Aries too, because uh, it's a sign for Aries, but uh, could be uh, just somebody who's very controlling. To be somebody who's very controlling, like if, I don't know if you've had like somebody in your life who's very controlling or whatever, but could be where this guy could represent him. But normally he can he he see how he's got a bomb in his hand too. I never realized that he has a bomb and I thought just the new ones had that. But that's why I call him President Obama. 
because it, he, he had a bomb in his hand that one, but that's crazy. I don't even notice that before. Hmm. But yeah, this guy's like mean. To, a lot of people, like a lot of people, say it's the government because it's it is about control and everything. They're pretty much the one that controls everybody, right? So, and this one's sadness. So that one's uh, nobody likes this one, but. Uh, what do we got in the lens? The lens you're looking for, through, the one, the uh, way you're seeing this, but the way your uh, lens you're looking through is uh, the lovers, or like uh, some kind of union. I'm gonna get a see what this one says because I was looking at this one. Oh shit. Just a sec here. I just want to see this one for a sec. Well, this one's got better meanings in it. This one's got better meanings in it. Oh, shit, it's cut off right away. This one's got better meanings in it, but I wanted to. I might, if it cuts off, but I'll make a. I'll make a, another one here. Uh, uh, and it probably is uh, two cups. Okay, yeah, so this is just like the lovers. This is a minor arcana for the lovers, but two of cups implying domestic bliss, homemaking, sits behind them, reflecting habitation, masculine, feminine, balance. It can be read metaphorically. It is the card of finding what you love, apply it in all areas of your life. So, yeah, it's like the lovers card. That's good. Okay. So then, uh, environment would be. Oh, I'll put it We got environment for EK Ray Spirit. Oh. Oh, shit. The star. So that's like good. That's really good. That's what you want right now is hope, healing, and like uh, faith is what uh, this is. What this card usually represents. And it's, well, an Aquarius, it could mean Aquarius, if you know an Aquarius around here. But yeah, this is a good card for, like, because right after the tower, that's like the towers when everything usually upheaves, heals. This one comes right after, it's like the calm after the storm or whatever type shit, right? Uh, outcome. Yeah, we should be able to know. I'm going to do another one after this one, too, so. Because I know you th- you got to go deal with your thing on fucking Friday there, so. Look at this right here, outcome. The first one, I'm going to get more on it though, is this is like uh, the most love you can get in the deck. De- de- uh, uh, can't speak right now. Somebody's trying to stop me from speaking. The most love you can get in the deck right there, man. Fucking uh, 10 cups. So that's good, man. That's like the ultimate, like uh, like almost like Disney fucking ending. Almost makes you, it's so good, it almost makes you want to puke, you know what I mean? <laughs> like fucking, for real. That's good. Let's see what the other one is it. Gotta be more than that. Okay. And then you got a uh, page of pedicles, so you could have a business deal coming up. It's not no jail in here whatsoever so far, so I don't know, man. There's a business deal coming up, it's a page of pedicles. Uh, and Queen of Swords. This is like somebody who's like, uh, she can be kind of a judge too, though. This could be it's a kind of a judge. It's not the type of person you lie to, right? Because she'll know. She's very perceptive, and a lot of people think she's a cunt, but she's actually she's not. She's just uh, she just fucking uh, tells it like it is, right? She's like she doesn't bullshit you. Like if she you have some fucking noodles on hanging out your fucking nose or something, she'll let you know about it. She don't she don't give a shit, right? <laughs> Which is kind of a good thing. So, and we got like a minute left, so uh, let's see here. Underlying energies, underlying energies. Holy shit. Wait, I'm not gonna look. Ugh. Underlying energies. This one right here. Conflict. So you might have some conflict in your. in just happening right now and all through this. Throughout all this, there's probably most likely gonna be some conflict. But uh, I'll get another one for sure. I'll do another one tonight. That last one didn't work out, so. I was fucking really tired when I did it anyway, so. It probably wasn't the greatest one, so I redid this one and I'll have it up tonight. I'm gonna go there right away now. But it's good about the click off. I still got a minute. Yeah, this one, 
You know what, this one I, I think is like when you see this many people fighting around you and trying to, if you know they're trying to distract you, I just stay out of it, man. Let them tire each other out, man. That's what I do. I, had so many, I have so many haters, I fucking literally let them tire each other out and then when they're tired,